Ah, peace, love, and light, healing through inspiration. How y'all doing? It's a great grand old day. Uh, I'm just getting ready to take a shower. I've been doing some packing, whatnot. It's a lot, a lot going on. And you know what? I've been doing some, some, uh, some light eating. Some really, some really, some light eating. I'm gonna do a fast, but I just had some food I did prepare because you guys saw it before I was trying to make the dosa, but then it turned out into to be like a crumb, like a crumbly thing, and then, you know, it's kind of like you get creative and you get to see other things come out. Is <sighs> that a chickpeas? But I, man, I'm over here sitting and watching this video, and it's just like it's like really getting to me, dog. Uh, I'm not. And you know what, too? Like, I think it's like a part of me. I just yawn. Clearly, that's why my eyes are watering. But another thing, too, I'm not going to like play dumb. Is I feel like rather emotional. Like, emotions are very strong. And I think it's very inactive. I think it's very, I'm sorry, not inactive. I think it's very active, you know, as far as, um, that's what I'm feeling. That's why I said I was light eating. So it was just like a light eating, you know. And so it's like a almost like a, a light, quote unquote, light fast, you know. You know, just checking out, a couple, checking out a couple of walnuts here and there. And I've been drinking mostly tea. I've been drinking chai. This I've been doing this since yesterday. I've been drinking freaking, uh, uh, what do you call it? Chai, chai tea, agave. I've been drinking green tea, white tea. I just had some green tea today, so it's like, man, and uh. And, you know, besides the walnuts and the chickpea flour, you know, not chickpea flour, the chickpea crumble. So it's just like, that's all I've been eating. But the light fast has done a lot as far as with the detox and, you know, just to let me know, like, hey, you know, because some other stuff I didn't eat when my body was detoxing, it let me know. I was like, oh, wow, that, I didn't know that was still there, <laughs> you know. Um, but, uh, man, oh, man, I'm over here. Another thing too, I'm starting to put things up because it's like, hey, you can't be, you can't do too comfortable over here. You gotta, you gotta move, you gotta move out of here. And uh, but one of the things I was watching was, I was watching this man. YouTube had recommended as I was watching his videos or something that sort of retained the title like, should you cut your hair uh, for a job or something like that, boys or some crap. And then I'm watching this video, this motherfucking be like, I seen this dog, I seen this dude before in the video. Interview him and he was and he got on his skinny suit, this B lack, got on his skinny suit, low cut hair, and he's sitting there telling them what you need to do. Like, oh, you just need to work hard, you need to work hard, you need to get another job. This I seen him get advice about other jobs before it didn't resonate with me. Cause that whole job game, it don't make freaking sense. I don't care what the hell these financial gurus, these people, they think they got these suits and they just so intelligent and they astute that you gotta get a job. Cause I'm gonna tell you like this, if you got one job and you go get another one, you think you're getting more money, uh-uh. You just paying higher taxes. You're epping yourself over. Nigga, it's not worth it getting another job, cuz how about that? They don't wanna tell you that. They don't wanna tell you that. And you know what, too? They got this and this idiotic, mindless, zombie society who just want to say, oh, it's called work for a reason. I'm supposed to like it. What the frick, man? What the frick? If you come into work, you come in sick, coughing, you know, and you can't, your back work or whatever, they, or whatever, something that just, that, oh, they don't want that here. They don't want that to spread. Oh, you can't work. Oh, you can't work. You know, you shouldn't work because you're not feeling well. But all of a sudden, they disregard the psychological health. You're not in this. You're not in an environment that's not an abundant. That's not flowing. That's not gonna help you prosper. That's not. Uh, that's not gonna help you grow. They don't talk to you about that, huh? They don't talk to you about that. That doesn't matter, huh? Because even too with physical health, these people don't even mind that obesity is at the highest rate it has ever been. So this be like boy, he's sitting there because he's sitting there trying to tell his. He's, and then, you know, this one I was telling, this actually correlates to the previous video as far as what, you know, these narcissists, video uncovered narcissist who is a narcissistic coach. And he's like, it, it is something like what I said when they talk, it's like it's zoning out. It, 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 I can't have a focal point on it because it doesn't resonate with me. Because I'm just, but I heard him because I was literally, this, he said something like, oh, um, uh, I work here, this, that, you know, all these little puss ass different degrees or whatnot. But your degrees doesn't 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 uh, doesn't make up for your character. 
It doesn't make up for your character because people get so in love with these fictitious uh, careers or whatever, and they just think that that just that defines them. But they have no integrity, no no truthness. They've done no self development, no growing whatsoever, no transparency, no authenticity because it's a fake world. It is a bragging braggadocious culture of oh I have this degree, I have this degree, I have this, I have degree. I'm more intelligent, I am superior. Oh, a piece of paper defines my intelligence. How is that? That that's not it. That's not it at all. You know. One of the things I remember, uh, my biological mother is that uh, as a child, you know, I remember watching. She was watching uh, what the hell she have on. I think it was the show, the Don, Donald Trump's The Apprentice or something like that. And it was you know these rag about these people. Oh, what school they went to? So, you know, some corporate bean heads, some freaking bean counters and whatever. Act like that. You know, they think they know something about business. They think they know about business because they looked at a few charts, read a couple of books. Or, that's just it. I'm not against reading book reading, of course. Um, you know, being a bookhead, I am. Uh, so just, just, but they think they know something. But the, this female, she said something like, "Oh, um, I then and I went to uh, this Yale and did it in business." And my biological mother said, "Oh, she went to Yale or she went to Harvard or so, so nobody can't tell her she's not smart. But nobody can't tell her nothing." I, and I remember that, like, can you imagine someone thinks because they have some petitious knowledge, I mean, it's just a piece of paper that hold on as a, a, a certificate. And, a, you know, anything a certificate is a certificate of minimal achievement, a certificate of minimal achievement. All of what you need to know is not defined by a piece of paper as far as you holding up. It's not going to be just taught in schools. What the heck? And then too with this it said it too with this be like boy. <sighs> this be like boy in his suit, gray hair and whatever. And he, he says I he says, You gotta get out of there. You gotta get out of there. And he said, cause he said it was somebody was saying that they think that them growing their hair out makes them feel more black. He said, You need help, you need counseling. What? One, we're not black over here. We are American. Feathers up and all. Feathers up and all, you dig? Pardon. We are American feathers up and all. So this, that whole black talk, that's dead, you know? But we are American. But the fact of the matter is somebody wants to embrace their culture, embrace their stuff that comes out of their head. And the fact of the matter that, you know, that, you know, you are the only species where you growing your hair out is resembled as a rebel act of rebellion an act of rebellion why is that you know because you know your skin is the same color as the soil your skin is the same color as the trees and your hair grows as the trees make no error about that that is not an accident and your and your hair is really your antennas your antennas is to help you signal in life signal life find direction in life and you have to be a stand-up man, not to go be around people that don't like you and want to work for them when they don't like you. That way they can abuse you. And you go along with the abuse by banking yourself in there. But you having some type of signals or whatnot, you can pick up on different energies and different frequencies. That's why you ever notice you're growing your hair out and you cut it low. You begin to feel real vulnerable. Because you just cut your antennas, you can cut your ability in order to signal. If it's just hair, people say, oh, hair is just hair. If it's just hair, why is there so much rejection? Why is there so much pushback? For you growing out of Afro, it is a rebellious act. And you know what intelligence is? Rebellion itself. So by you gaining intel from being able to signal what is grasped through your hair, you are intelligent, therefore you are rebellious. And if you're not rebellious in a righteous way, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't know what to tell you. And you know what to take it from this, someone who is been in nursing school and um, I was growing my hair out and my biological mother, she told me, you know, she said, oh yeah, you need to, she said at the barber shop. She's like, yeah, just cut your hair, just cut your. Hair. We needed to cut your hair all the way low. Cause see, I'm trying to, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to say, 
and this you need to cut your hair you need to cut you know, whatever your hair you need to cut your hair you used to have your hair real cut and, and then I and then after her, her with her other her son and then the Sambo barber I mean this Sambo barber was so he was so vile he wouldn't even tell me his name because I wanted to know his name after he cut my hair so I can tell him to come back and who I wanted to go see said they lied and tell me it's Jay when his name's not Jay but yet he wants to switch up and change the tune. My biological mother and her son is there. Her other son is there. Freaking goofball. He said he's in there because he got his felony. He's got three felonies. That's why he's cutting hair. But it's actually in Saginaw, Michigan to be exact. I remember that. People then. So... But always he's all he's a chatty chatty patty motherfucker chatting up, and he's like, you know, oh he don't do nothing like that. He said his daughter he wouldn't even give his daughter's boyfriend a chance because he had long hair. I think he said something had long hair something he don't do it. Like what the frick? What is this? What is that like? It's all self hate type of thing. Like it's so deep and ingrained. Like you know what they don't tell that to these pale people you know jesus look at jesus look at this picture the, the person they call jesus what the frick he got long strands he don't even got hair because he's pale the reason what happens is the only one with hair i.e you don't get lice you don't want to don't get lice you don't eat lice but yet they get lice all these fleas and ticks or whatever the walking flea bags it's why they're the same species that's related to the caucus, the Caucasian, and the dog is the Caucasian. That's why they get ticks. Like, same thing as they deal with them. And they sit there trying to justify it and make it a normalization. You know what? That is the Earth's natural way of the insects in order to rid of what is hybrid. They're doing its job. They're getting rid of what is hybrid. But yet with you, they're not feasting on you. They're not feasting on you. Because you aren't hybrid. You are natural to this land. You are natural. Do you know original inhabitants' bodies do not decompose? That in itself already tells you that with well, these other species, they do decompose. That already tells you that you're not meant to die. You're meant supposed to be here. And that has to do with having to restore the body and keeping yourself healthy. You follow the natural diet as the natural man, natural woman. Eating food that is nat that goes naturally from the land itself, i.e., quote unquote, alkaline foods, alkaline electric foods, inspired by the great American brother Dr. Saving. I say American, cause his mother's mother's from Honduras. And guess what continent that's from? Put that down in the chat. And you know this video cuts is because of the memory. Was it advice? But look, so look, I'm I'm in the chair, and he's like, yeah, and they all doing it. He's like, yeah, just cut your hair. Then they using all this abuse on me, narcissistic abuse, you know. And her son, whatever, he's a just a bitch, you know, going along with it, you know, doing the bidding of her. And then I said, you know, I'm already in the chair, and then they uh, cut my hair, and it was just complete awful feeling. And she was like, yeah, good. Good, you look like a good little boy. You look like a good, nice little boy. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, my God. Just the feel. And that bitch had her face. Good. Ugh. A nasty-ass face. Sir, like she was so... Ugh. It is never fucking enough with it. I almost cursed. Never fucking enough with those bitches. These narcissists. And it was like the scalping of myself. And guess what? When I because it was still school, because I was facing facing a lot of discrimination from this uh, from this teacher, this pale bitch uh, who was my teacher. Uh, she didn't like me because I was a original habitat. I was a man, you know, and they're young man too, brown man, only brown man. But it was supposed to be this black school, this black school. But yet she didn't like me because I was a brown, young brown man. And it's but compared to her son, that was my 
that was supposed to be my age at the time. All he does is sit there and go home, play video games and Xbox. My life is bigger than that. Especially if you ain't trying to grow with it. But yeah, my life is bigger than that. So they thought, so they were telling me cutting my hair was going to make a difference. Because he started harassing me already. Freaking hell. And still with the discrimination already, and they, um, you know, broke rules. They literally tried to fail me, deliberately changed my test grades, graded me harder, changed my papers so I could uh, not do well. So I ended up just leaving the school. And it turns out, leaving that school, and turns out already. So, and, uh, you know, they tried to, and then the stat and the head. The school tried to act like they cared, but they didn't because they let that pale bitch do what she wanted to do, you know? Um, so then um, I ended up ended up leaving, leaving the school. And uh, um, I, leaving, I remember I was staying, staying home. And my parents now. I would, that's when I went through a lot. I really went through a lot. It was like, as far as my biological mother, uh, you know, I was, cause I, when I remember I was, I remember I was 18. I, you know, I was having anxiety talk just to do how much stress and how much discrimination and just stress I was facing from that school, that school alone. And I remember I was in my kitchen table and sitting out of the chair, ah, just screaming like so loud. It's loud. And my biological mother is watching me having a the worst panic attack I've ever had in my life. She's sitting there on the couch because of this school, how they treating me. And she ain't saying a single thing. She ain't saying a single thing. She's okay with this. I I, I can't imagine this. I'm sitting having a panic attack. I, I'm in my freaking apartment. Screaming, yo. And she don't say a single thing. And she knows it's because of this stuff right here. She could care freaking less. A narcissistic bitch. That bitch is just staring at the TV. But she want to be there around there. Continuing the abuse. So then. So then this right here. And then with that, I was just. And that too, around that time too. Because it was supposed to be studying. Uh, studying for a test. Still in the, you know, this school, by the way. And so then I, I said, you know, I was. Because like, I started realizing. I said, hey. Hey, mom. I said, you know, well, you know, when we were, when I was younger, you know, when I was, uh, and Jessica, she had, um, when I, when I was little, I was like five, she had, She had, tell, tell me later. Tell me later. Do like that. Tell me later. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Tell me later. So. With that being said. So then. She said that. And so then this is now. When I'm, this is now, now in my apartment. I'm at. I'm back at her house. And then she's like, and then I, I said, hey, mom, I came to her room and I said, hey, hey, mom, I got something to tell you. I said, I was telling her that when I was, I was five, that, uh, you know, Jessica had molested me. And she said, oh, okay. 
You know, sometimes she asked, she asked her to make all the right choices and like, okay. And it was just like, that too, but it was just like, wasn't like a real reaction. And then, you know, kind of like now, just looking back on it, my biological mother, she knew what I wanted to tell her then. She said, oh, don't tell me. That bitch knew what, what I was going to say about Jessica, about Jessica molesting me. You know that? And um, hopefully this thing don't cut off in a minute. Yeah, go with the links in the description. It was short, and I'm, I'm going to finish this. But uh, what I'm saying is this, though. So then I had, uh, this is when I go to another school. I'm out, out of state. I'm in Ohio now. They're sitting there telling me that, man, I, I barely even had, I didn't have a beard. I didn't even have a beard. I literally didn't have a beard. I had a few hairs coming down out of my chin, and they was like, oh, you got to shave your beard. You can't have that because this and that. When you go there, and I'm just like, what? And I was just like, I feel like it's a part of me. I feel like, you know, I just didn't like how they were trying to discriminate against me because I was facing the discrimination. This is a pale school now. This is the pale school I'm going through now. Still nursing, you know. And it was just like, and, you know, they were changing my test grades, changing stuff, teaching stuff that wasn't being taught, deliberately trying to set me up so I would fail giving me tests, a hundred point question test. And if I get one wrong, I fail. Literally. Now there's no exaggeration. No exaggeration. I get kicked out of or I had to sent back or fail. No, actually I fail. And I was just like, what? Like how unrealistic is that? I well, you know, I don't I quote you know they're using the word, but how how plausible is that? And something that they just gave to me, like they just taught me too, and prop too, and the stuff that was on there, she did not teach me. It set me up for failure. And the thing is, I cut my hair, and you know, cutting it, and I still didn't feel right. So that goes to show you that still cutting my hair, cut my hair, cut my beard, cut my hair, it didn't change. It didn't save who I was. It didn't, you know, because they don't like you. Dressing apart, doing all these fake ass smiles. I'm being exhausted, literally. Hey, I'm these fake ass smiles, entertaining these fake ass discussion with these honkies. You don't even like your ass because you brown, nigga. Straight up, because of what is because of my hair. 